Tesla raises salaries for production employees at Giga Berlin. June 28, 2022. Tesla is raising salaries for some employees at Giga Berlin by 6% starting August 2022. According to the email, the increase in salaries will be given to workers employed in production. While the decision to increase the salaries of managers and engineering. Professional employees will be reviewed on an individual basis. Tesla once again shows concern for its team. Reacting to recent information about the dissatisfaction of some Giga Berlin employees with their salary levels. The manufacturer took immediate action. After receiving feedback from employees. The company has revised compensation to ensure it is fair and competitive. Tesmanian received a copy of an email sent to the factory's employees outlining specific measures to improve the situation. According to the information, starting from August 1, 2022, employees who are employed in production will receive a salary increase of 6%. This only applies to production employees. The decision was made in close cooperation with the Works Council, which represents the interests of the employees. In addition, salary increases for managers and engineering. Professionals will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis and will depend on a number of important factors related to accelerating factory productivity. In addition, as always, Tesla thanked the Giga Berlin team, emphasizing that they are the basis of success. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tesmanian. My take you have to keep your employees happy or it won't work out very well for you. How far ahead is Tesla with full self-driving? June 28, 2022. How far ahead is Tesla in full self-driving FSD? Elon Musk seems to think that Tesla is at least five years ahead of any competition. Yet, if you look at some analysts on Wall Street, they think everyone will reach autonomy at about the same time. Who is right? Let's find out. Tesla is unique in that it has taken a cameras and software approach to solving a car that can drive itself that is FSD. The reason Elon Musk made this decision is because humans drive with their eyes, brain, and limbs. And this is intuitively the best way to get a car to drive itself. To make this happen, Tesla has removed radar and lidar from its FSD system and is now only using cameras and software. Other companies besides Tesla are using radar and lidar in order to try and solve autonomy. There is fierce debate on which one will be best long term. There are numerous videos being put on YouTube with people using Tesla's FSD beta without disengagements or interventions. One of them is Whole Mars Catalog, who has shown again and again very successful drives with Tesla's FSD beta. But, the software ISNT always perfect. There are times it makes mistakes. But these mistakes are lessening over time. The software is slowly improving and handling situations that it used to struggle with. The big key for success for me will be when Tesla's FSD will be able to handle unprotected left turns again and again without intervention or disengagement. An intervention in FSD is when the driver has to do anything to the car. Even if it's just lightly tapping the accelerator to give the car a little push. This doesn't turn off the FSD software, but it is still driver interaction. A disengagement is when the driver of the vehicle turns off FSD for any reason and this is usually because the car was about to do something it WASNT supposed to like turn into a construction cone. Or was moving toward another car. Or something generally considered dangerous. Other companies like Ford, GM, and Chinese EV companies are using radar and lidar. And are limited to specific locations. What I find the most interesting about Tesla and other companies in regards to autonomy is that they're just ISNT many other videos of other companies and their vehicles driving around autonomously in a successful way. And to me, that is the biggest leading indicator that Tesla is far ahead in solving this very difficult problem. The sheer number and volume of videos appearing on YouTube and the increased number of FSD beta testers now over 100.000. As this number grows and the software improves we will see more and more flawless drives. When I see videos of Waymo or other companies and their autonomous software, the videos seem to be edited and presented in a way to show it in a good light. Comma AI seems to be the next best solution for solving autonomy. What I like about Tesla FSD and the videos on YouTube is that mistakes are very clearly shown. Especially with Chuck Cook and his unprotected left-hand turn videos. Do you think Tesla is in the lead in solving autonomy? What other companies are close? If any, source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. Tesla Giga Berlin to add a third shift by July 4th. June 28th. 2022.
The third shift of Tesla Giga Berlin employees will start work by July 4. Currently, Tesla Gigafactory Berlin has two alternating shifts. Starting at either 6.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. according to a Tesla employee. Giga Berlin will introduce a night shift from July 4 onwards. So the factory will be running 24 hours a day. The Berlin factory recently started producing 1,000 Model Y vehicles per week. Adding another shift of workers would significantly increase the factory's production in the coming months. Tesla Giga Berlin is still actively hiring. Earlier this month, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would initiate a mass layoff, culling about 3% to 3.5% of the company's salaried workforce. Giga Berlin workers were not affected by Tesla's recent mass layoffs. Tesla's factory in Germany currently employs around 5.000 employees. And the company plans to continue hiring hundreds more every month. Tesla aims to have 12.000 Giga Berlin workers by the end of 2022. The Frankfurt Oder Employment Agency has set up an office in Grunheide since Tesla's factory opened. The agency has been able to place more than 600 unemployed people in Giga Berlin. It was the right decision to move to Tesla's factory premises with a special team. Joachim Freyer, CEO of the Frankfurt Oder Employment Agency, told Moz, thanks to the short coordination paths, we have already been able to place more than 600 unemployed people with Tesla. And I am particularly pleased that more than half of them were long-term unemployed beforehand. The employment agency stated that Tesla would be providing more job opportunities in the coming weeks. Anyone interested in working at Giga Berlin can contact the Frankfurt Oder Employment Agency or send an email to team.automotive at arbeitsagentur.de. Tesla Giga Berlin recently increased the pay it offers new hires. So it might be a good time to apply. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take this will really help with the ramp up. Tesla Apple CarPlay hack can now work on any Tesla. June 28, 2022. If you are still waiting for Apple CarPlay to come to a Tesla and don't mind a multi-step process with multiple pieces of hardware, you are in luck. Developer Mitchell Gapinski uploaded a video on YouTube which shows him fiddling with CarPlay and watching YouTube in an Android-based interface. Although it acts like Apple CarPlay, it is more of an Android tablet emulator that runs on Android 12 or Linux. However, to get it running, it is going to take some hardware and some programming know-how. The rig consists of two Raspberry Pi computers, an HDMI to CSI2 adapter, an LTE modem and cables to connect everything. Once you have all the gear, you will need to follow a complex series of terminal commands to set up the emulator. Not only will you need to set up Android 12 or Linux on the Raspberry Pi, you will also need to fiddle with the second Raspberry Pi to get the emulator working. It is not perfect, and it is not native CarPlay, but it might be a good Sunday afternoon project for those who like to fool around with technology and have a computer background. You can find the hardware requirements, installation guide and release notes on his website. As well, you can check out the full 6-minute video below on his YouTube channel. Source reposted and summarized from Scott Nordland at Drive Tesla Canada. My take there you go. I might just give it a try and report back on this.